frente a esta difícil situación que se ha generado y que me hace injustamente aparecer como culpable de actos en los que no he participado, pienso que lo mejor para el país es que yo renuncie a la presidencia de la República. After just over one year in office, Pedro Pablo Kuczynski is out. He's the latest sitting president in South America to fall over links to Odebrecht, a Brazilian construction company accused of paying more than $800 million in bribes to politicians all over the continent. But Peru's political crisis is about more than just corruption. After a series of scandals, Kuczynski's approval ratings last year were in the low 30s. He faced impeachment calls by the country's opposition party, Popular Force, headed by Keiko Fujimori, who's the daughter of jailed former president Alberto Fujimori. But Kaczynski survived the vote, getting unlikely backing from Keiko's brother, Kenji Fujimori, a popular force congressman. Three days later, Kaczynski issued a pardon for Alberto Fujimori to be released from jail and transferred to hospital, something the president had long said he would not do. Many Peruvians suspect it was part of a backroom deal with Kenji to survive impeachment. The siblings clashed and Keiko expelled Kenji from the party. Protests broke out and Kaczynski's approval ratings this year sunk even further to 18%. And soon, Kaczynski faced a new call for impeachment. But just before the vote, Popular Force released videotapes showing Kaczynski's allies, including Kenji, trying to buy the support of Moises Mamani, an opposition congressman loyal to Keiko who set up the secret filming. Both Kenji and Kaczynski deny any wrongdoing and say they've been framed. Lo que ha sucedido debe marcar el punto final de una política de odio y confrontación. Peru now has a new president, Martín Vizcarra, who's pledged to stamp out corruption. In just one week's time, he'll host the Summit of the Americas, inviting leaders from all over the continent, including President Trump. The theme, fighting corruption, a quest which some now feel Peru should no longer be leading. Sandra Gatman, The Newsmakers.